Okay, working late at night. Uh, sorry, using the headlamp. Changing out sprocket. Uh, what I find, by the way, no matter whether I'm running a 16 like here or a 15, if I keep an eye, and I don't have a handy, I already put it quite a ways away from me, on the wear on the teeth, once that square top on the teeth and what looks like a little bit of an arc on the teeth, it's already too late, but that's the point where you've got to change out the front sprocket to so you don't mess up the chain too bad so it doesn't wear the rear sprocket out a little too soon. So I usually buy a chain, a rear sprocket, and two fronts. But the reason I started this video was see the relationship of where the master link goes right there? The what's facing the back, this side, never let go so that I could loosen the chain enough slip the sprocket back on the counter shaft. So, zoom, 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 don't have a seizure. That way the chain, even though I put something down here, the chain didn't drop on the ground, it hung onto the sprocket and I just pulled the chain that needs to be tightened anyways. Um, so I can just slip the master link back on after I lube it up. That's really all that was about. That and being frugal because Kale Arista, but two front sprockets to every chain and rear sprocket.